Okay, so this is the back corner where I'm going to put in the zipper. And the back corner I sewed, you know, about an inch down, and now I will install a zipper right here. So I've pulled this together so that it's snug around my sofa, and I did put pins in here so I know exactly where I want to install my zipper. So now I'll cut my invisible zipper for this and install the zipper right there. Okay, so for the zipper, I've already created my invisible zipper. I buy it by the yard and I install my pole myself. So you can either do that or buy a ready-made zipper. And this is the back corner of my sofa. So here's the, the top of the arm and then this is the outside bat this is the outside arm and I sewed down about two inches from the top corner and I'm going to install my zipper there and I did pin see I've got pins along here so I know I you know I fitted the back of my sofa together like this and put the pins in so now I'm just going to open up my zipper Obviously we want the open end at the bottom so that your slip cover can open up. And we're going to install this with the pull side down. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the end of the zipper up here where I've sewn. And I'll put a pin, a couple pins there. You wanna just make sure that the uh, folded over fabric comes right to the center there. Okay, now I'm going to put my hand underneath this flap in order to pin this because you only want to pin through this one side. And we're going to line up the zipper teeth to the edge of that folded fabric. Okay, so you want to be careful that your fabric, the edge of your fabric comes just right to the edge of the zipper teeth right here. You don't want the fabric to overlap too much because with a hidden or an invisible zipper, um, this fabric could get caught in your zipper. So just make sure your folded fabric comes just right to the edge of the teeth. Same thing on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna sew this. So using your zipper foot, you just sew down right next to your zipper teeth as close as possible. Now I'm up around the pole and I will go ahead and sew around it and then I'll open it back up and then sew this in a little closer.
Now I'll open this all the way up and get closer here and here. And then this part is sewn together, so. So up here I can just stitch that, hand stitch that together, do like a bar tack. Up here where you couldn't, I couldn't get in real close, I can just do a little bit of hand stitching right there to keep that shut and then bar tack it about an inch down and that's it. And then at the bottom I'll cut off the rest of this zipper here and then just zigzag stitch over one side in order to keep that from the pull from pulling right off of here. So I'll pull up a couple of these stitches and then cut this off and bar tack across or zigzag across the zipper. The zipper. So I had to do a closure because the sofa does curve out at the top. So it's got a zipper closure on this side. So I just put an invisible zipper in there all the way to the floor. So that's it. So if you want to see the process of making this entire slipcover from the beginning, then check out this video next.